angiography demonstrates some irregular stenosis in the SFA with a short occlusion more distally. Towards the adductor hiatus there's a further significant stenosis with collaterals around it. Here a guide wire has been pushed forward in a loop using a cobra capita and pushed through the occlusion in the subintimal plane. On this occasion we've used an 018 guide wire but we would normally use an angled 035 Truma wire. The loop of wire has been shortened and has popped back into the lumen. You can see by probing with the guide wire it moves freely and is no longer in the subintimal space. A gentle test injection of contrast will confirm this. The catheter is removed over the guide wire and an angioplasty balloon advanced on this occasion is a biotronic Passio 4 French 018 system and the balloon diameter is 6 mm and it's 4 cm in length. This is then inflated using a pressure inflation device due to the high pressures required in tight stenoses and occlusions such as these. The balloon is then deflated and the more proximal occlusion is dilated again to 6 mm. The road map demonstrates the correct sizing of the balloon. The balloon is then deflated test injection confirms good flow and the lumen is now patent. Two more proximal stenoses are then dilated using the same 6mm 4 French balloon. And those proximal stenoses is just distal to the sheath and you can see the marker at the end of the bright tip sheath there. Following this the balloon is deflated, the wire is left in situ and good angiographic flow is demonstrated. Of course, once the lesion is crossed with a guide wire, prior to angioplasty, 2,500 units of heparin are administered intraarterially through the sheath. Here you can see excellent flow distally with no evidence of distal embolization following the angioplasty.